Welcome to the Graceful Grammar Higher Secondary School. Grade 6. Subject Maths. Maths book based on the Pakistan National Curriculum, 2006. Open your notebook and put the heading of first term on the first page. First term. Getting ready for grade 6. Find the HCF of these number by prime factorization and expression index. We have to find the HCF and LCM of 18, 20 and 30. How do we find the HCF and LCM of three numbers together? The best way to do it is by reducing all numbers to its prime factors and then write them in exponential form. Let's reduce 18 to its prime factors first. It is divisible by 2. 2 times 9 is 18 and 3 times 3 is 9. So 18 can be written as a product of these three numbers. So 18 will equal 2 times 3 times 3. In exponential form, it can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 squared. Let's move on to the second number which is 20. It is divisible by 2 and the quotient is 10 which is also divisible by 2. 2 times 5 is 10. We stop here as we got a prime number. 20 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5 and in exponential terms can be written as 2 squared multiplied by 5. And the last number is 30. It is divisible by 2. And 2 times 15 is 30. 3 times 5 is 15. So we can write 30 as 2 times 3 times 5. And in exponential form as well, it is written in the same way. Now that we have written all three numbers in exponential form, we can move on to find the HCF and LCM. To find the HCF, we multiply the smallest powers of shared factors. So let's find the HCF first. Shared factors are the prime factors that are present in all the numbers. There are three factors that we have to consider. 2, 3 and 5. And out of these, 2 is the only factor present in all the numbers. Now let's look at the powers of 2. We have 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 1 again. The smallest power is 2 raised to 1. So our HCF will be 2. How do we find the LCM now? To find the LCM, we multiply the highest powers of each factor. For the LCM, the factors do not have to be shared. First, Let's look at 2. 2 squared is the highest power amongst these three. So we write 2 squared first. Among 3 and 3 squared, 3 squared is higher. We multiply this with 3 squared. Notice that 3 is not present in here. It doesn't matter. For the LCM, we consider the highest power of each factor whether it is shared or not. And the last factor is 5. We have 5 raised to 1 here as well as here. So we multiply this with 5 as its highest power. This is 4 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 5. That equals 180. So if you're asked to find the HCF as well as the LCM of 3 numbers, this is the method you should follow. Pod mass is actually a short form for this. This is B for bracket, O for off, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition and S for subtraction. So if 
you have an expression which has multiple operations to be done then you have to prioritize those operations in this order first you have to solve bracket then you have to solve off then you can perform division and multiplication at the same time after that you have to perform addition and subtraction and this addition and subtraction also you can perform simultaneously off can be power of like 2 to the power of 2 or 4 to the power of 2 and it can be for homework last week that uh, a couple of boys stumbled across or stumbled on so I'm just going to take you through it step by step so we've got to remember and I think most of you are pretty good at this the B in bod math stands for the brackets so the first thing that we need to do is we need to focus on what's inside the brackets within those brackets we also have two operations we have a times and we have a minus now in terms of bod maths the multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction which means I need to do that multiplication first so if I just write that below 4 times 8 we know is going to be 32 minus 9 and just to be thorough I'm going to write everything else out again um, so step by step a lot of this you will be able to do mentally but just for the example I'm going to do each step and then we're still focusing on what's inside the brackets but now we're down to one operation so we're just going to subtract 9 from 32 which is going to be 23 so we've now just got the 23 and that's being times by 5 plus 7 and here's where we had a few boys stumbling because they, they, they dealt with the brackets correctly they got to the step but then they forgot they just thought, okay, from now on, I'm just going to work from left to right. But you can't because multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. So I need to then do this multiplication, which is 5 times 23. And the 5 times 23 is going to give you 115. And we then need to still add the 7. And we're almost done. And then finally, we just need to add the 7 to the 115 which will give us an answer of 822 and we're done.